Welcome back to Life of Pepe playthrough episode 11. I'm Joe. I'm Matt. And here we go. We were having a very enthralling conversation with a villager last time. We're, uh, so we're going to continue here. But we tanked our friendship score with him because he asked if he could trust us, and we said no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, I found him. If you wanna go find the guard and tell me what our score is getting to. Alright, well, I also need to eat something. I have food. Here, go ahead. Alright, I'll go check the score. Okay. Just making small talk with him. <laughs> Alright, we're there. We're there. <laughs> okay, just passing through. Have you been to the desert before? And then we're gonna ask him about the cursed relic. And then we're gonna say sure to this question. Okay. Bring your friend and meet me in the secret chamber behind the Robo Miner painting in my house. <laughs> well, you really have to get all that fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we gotta discover which one is his house. No, it's not the hotel. That's it's the hotel. This tiny one. Is a glowing stone in there. That's not that guy's house. So it has to be this one that indeed has a picture of the Robo Miner behind it. That must be the Robo Miner. Okay. Alright. He's gonna interact through our secret room. Alright, you talk to him. It was I who cursed the relic that haunts like factory. Someone needed to stop the miner's destructive path. If you find any relics in the desert, bring them here and drop them. I'll give you resources in return. My job is not finished until they are all destroyed. Just don't go into the factory. That was the last line. <laughs> okay. Wow. Just don't go into the factory, he says. Huh. So he created a cursed relic. Did he say that same blurb to me? Oh, he does. Oh, so in case we missed it. Yeah. Actually, if I ask him again, he might say the same thing the same again. Thing. <laughs> Okay. It takes a little while to read that very special font that we use. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna get our relic we have here. This is the one I think we brought all the way from Pierre's palace, potentially, or maybe down in the desert. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. Talk to him, I guess. Whoa. Oh, oh. 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 He gave us a, a chair. And look, it's destroyed. We destroyed it. We can no longer pick that up. Say anything, huh? No, I didn't say anything, did I? Now um, you gotta wait there, though. <laughs> yeah, I gotta wait for a little while. He gave us a chair. That was nice of him. I guess we can take okay. it to our house in the desert. Do we have it? I feel like we have more of those in other chests in our different worlds. Yeah, we might have some in Bill's. Should we go? Yeah, let's go see if we can get some more stuff. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> hey. I didn't get any. Didn't die here. Here we go. Back in business. I'm just gonna leave this stuff here. Yeah, that's fine. Standing watch over your grave. Our mounts are up at the top because we went the other way. We didn't go this way. Hey, check the food on that. It seems hungry. All these two bows seem like they need to uh, find the food. Same with this guy. We got a lot over by our place. Check this out. We're gonna cut through our corral. 
Okay. Let's see what we got. We have one. Okay, let's take that back. <laughs> We're not doing something we're gonna regret. <laughs> to protect the natural resources from these inventions. This person I take it upon himself. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. He's generous. <laughs> That's a gift. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Here you go, man. <laughs> oh, my chair. Wow, we got a crook. <laughs> I guess we can just... <laughs> Deck it out anywhere we want. You got two chairs in here. <laughs> Let's take this bed and this chair up to our, our other place. Maybe they both beds, I guess. Might as well. Let's take it up to the desert. Um, we probably should gather something else in another slot. Oh well. It's alright. I'm gonna put one of the beds just in the chest and we can use it later. Okay. In a different world, we can take it to. Where do you want the bed? All the way back in like this bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so big. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just put it right here. Um, just so I won't interfere with anything on the bed. Oh. A chair. You know, in hindsight, we probably could have used this this house space for uh, like additional layout space. You know, to go and like explore. <laughs> the desert's already massive. I don't think we needed that much more empty space. Yeah, I guess you're right. Check it out, front facing chair. Pretty cool. Oh. All right. Um, so are we going to disregard that guy's advice and go back into the factory? Is that the next, uh, next step? Yeah, I think we could. Do you want... Should we both take bows, or should we take the triple sword in? I think we both do bows. Yeah, so we went in a couple of episodes ago to the factory, awakened the cursed relic. Oh, there's a crack there. Let's dig it real quick. Right above the house, and I'll stay here. But this is that buried oasis you mentioned. Wow. That'd be a good location. Oh, you missed oh, it. Yeah, I did. I did that. You're gonna have to go away a little bit. Yeah. Oh, oh it's just a pebble. It's a pebble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? I'm just gonna... Yeah, let me just tuck this away. Okay, let's get after it. Ready? I'll bring this pebble, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you just went? Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, ready? Though maybe it's better one of us go, so we don't uh, just okay. pull one. Yeah, <laughs> pull it away. Okay, I'll go first because I had the late, less expensive bow. All right, this is take two of fighting, fighting the cursed relic. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, okay, take that out before I'm not coming in here until. Okay, it's okay. you're safe. Okay. Oh, oh <laughs> get it. Shoot. Uh, Alright, I okay. got it. I heard it. Oh, so I guess you can't break them while they're That's not activated. It. Will this pebble trigger it? Trigger it? Yeah, no. 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 Oh my gosh. There's a banana barrel up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got ahead, so I cannot get my triple bow destroyed. Okay. Where? Oh. Okay, it's back there. It's back there. Okay. I'll just close in on it. Oh, it, I think I got it. Is that it? Do we beat the last one? Yeah, let's check. There's oh. a fence here before. Fence is gone. A new character. <laughs> oh. 
The cursed relic has been defeated. Finally, I'm free. I've been trapped here so long. I can't start production of the... Oh, I can start production of the miners again. That's what he said there. I oh, think... Boy. See if you can talk to him. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's let him see what wants. I can help you for the right price. So here's what he offers us. Very unique things we haven't seen anywhere else in the game yet. <laughs> Robo miner. Drop these things into my jar. Um, so we gotta drop stuff in his jar. A relic, a Yibin Mite, and TNT. So we just destroyed our relics that we had. <laughs> <laughs> With that other guy that was the anti-miner. Uh, yeah, so, okay. There's uh, <laughs> some text at the top left of that, <laughs> of the dialogue <laughs> box. I wonder what that says. <laughs> Is that what is this? No refunds? I think it's. Right? No, I think Alfonso says that. Uh, I don't know what that one says. Okay. Let's see what else we have to get. Fuel Depot. Drop these items into my jar. TNT and Globies. Okay. There's a lot of TNT. Stone fence. We just need fence and pebbles. And stone gate. Just a gate and pebbles. So, yeah, those are probably sturdy versions. I'm gonna take this door back here. Here's a fuel depot. This is a new new object we haven't seen in the game. <laughs> so we'll have to see what that does once we buy some robo miners. But yeah, there's definitely no explanation of it at this <laughs> point. This door appeared though, it's a shortcut door. So you can get right to the site without having to walk through all that arena space. Okay, cool. Oh look, maybe there's a robo miner right there. Let's get the shovel. Or a relic. They're called relics, I guess, at this point. Oh, I need some water, though. If you want, you can build a shovel, too. We could go look for the buried oasis while we dig for relics. Okay. Well, that battle went well. We didn't die once. No, we were really efficient. Definitely could have been a lot worse for us in there. Full spark spark grab. Grab? Should we can I grab that one or leave it? Because of all this stuff. Got a lot of soul sparks. Alright, sandstorm's coming. Just build the other bed. Yeah, maybe. Because then we can both recover from sandstorm damage. Though, I mean, it's true, there's going to be more stuff in the future. Should we do bunk beds? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is that it? I feel like it's going to be Kind of did. There's a slight visual All right. glitch. Alright, so you can. <laughs> there you go, bunk bed. Bunk bed. Bunk bed unlocked. I like how we, I think we lined up the soundtrack where it was playing like this, the March of the Railroads theme, and we were actually in there talking to Sykes. So that's good. The triple bow is especially useful when dealing with many foes. This weapon is sold by Pierre. Giuseppe also has ties to the desert. He will tell you about it if he trusts you. Giuseppe, that's the guy's name. He did trust us. You can oh, buy okay. robo miners from Sykes. These workers will help you mine resources. The land was once back. green. Unfortunately, robo miners aren't programmed to stop. That's deep. You probably need to get back with your help. That is deep. And Giuseppe, <laughs> we feel kind of bad that we betrayed Giuseppe. Oh, I almost died. I was greedy. Yeah, I told you. you Alright, I can get a few more hints then. Or maybe in the next episode we should go. Uh, 
Oh, that's that's what we've done to our friend Giuseppe in Brazil. <laughs> By activating, getting sights back in the world. <laughs> Let's see what else this guy says to us. Rogue miners will venture to run out of fuel. Buy a few fuel depot to revive them. There's the exclamation on fuel depots. Oops. <laughs> indeed. Soul smarts can only be tamed as grubs. Hold them long enough, they'll become loyal. An industrialist in the factory is named Sites. Many sandstorms pass through here. Seek shelter or you'll take damage. No more food tips. I mean, I have more food. But, uh, I'm gonna save it for a second. I'd be lucky if this is what you're looking for. Oh, no. Just water. Just water, I'll take it. Do you want to give him two more tips? Or? Yeah, sure. It's the same. And then we can end it. Look carefully for cracks in the desert floor. Use a shovel to unearth what was buried. If you destroy the cursed relic, Sykes will be able to see. Um, Sykes will be able to see you. <laughs> so you is the best. So, so oh, it's it's to be so. <laughs> Sykes's helmet was crafted to resemble a yellow gremlin. This allows him to avoid notice of the gremlin horde. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Digging up cracks may result in uncovering buried grumblings. Soul spars can only be tamed as grubs. I already got that one. Many sandstorms pass through. No more types. Oh. Oh, there's a grumbling. You gotta fight fire with fire. throwing battle for the ages. Right, that would be a good wrap up to the episode. Alright. I think that's a wrap. See you next time.